What's up, guys? This is Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way, you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, we got another video coming out, and we're going to be talking about the compilation video that we did where we made all the advanced side mount penetrations, and we're actually continuing with the school bus as well. This is going to be video number two of the school bus, and I'm actually going to be penetrating up underneath the school bus. Now, if you've ever been out in the schoolyard, and you see there's plenty of room between the bottom of a school bus and the ground itself. However, this particular bus has actually settled down in the mud and we don't actually have that much room. Now, I have seen back mount divers go up underneath this vessel a pro or the school bus. I probably wouldn't recommend that, but for side mount divers, this is absolutely going to be perfect for them. You can go through it whether you wing the bottles you gun the bottles or you just leave them on your sides as well. There's going to be plenty of room for side mount divers to go through. Now one thing that I really love about this penetration is you have to get so close to the bottom that as you're doing your certain finning techniques, whether it's modified flutter, modified frog, you really got to work not to stir up anything. And as you see, as I come through this school bus or up underneath it, you'll notice that I'm not really stirring up the bottom and it stays pretty clear until I exit. Right when I exit, you'll see my body drop, you'll see me hit into the mud, and you'll see me drag this mud with me, which causes some visibility concerns for any divers that's behind me. So this is a challenging penetration here, even though it's very short, it's probably only about a 10 foot swim you go through, but it is very challenging just because of how low it is to the ground. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this, and we'll watch through it at least twice, just to, so that we can really dial in these points here. But I'm going to hit play. As you can see, I'm on the passenger side of the school bus. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop down and I'm going to kind of negotiate where I actually want to make the entrance here. Um, because when you go through, there's some metal hanging down on one side or the other. So you actually got more room on one side or the other. But you'll see I'm going to start to come through one side and you'll see it is pretty clear up underneath there. But then as I come through, you'll see how, how much it gets stirred up. Now I did decide to uh, wing a bottle. You don't have to wing a bottle here at all, but I did decide to. As I come through, you'll see everything's good until the very end, my knees drop into mud and look how much mud I actually drug up out of there. Now for the next diver coming through, that can cause some issues. Now a couple things that I wanna talk about here, if you're making a penetration that's this low to the bottom, you know, one of the, techniques that we use, the pull and glide technique, especially if you're in a cavern, a cave, we'll pull ourselves around a, a, along the line itself and then glide as we do that. And we do that so we're not stirring up the bottom, so we're not kicking the top if we don't have a lot of room to kick. But in this particular situation, you want to be careful of that because every time you dig in the bottom, you're just stirring it up as well. Now, there is no line for me to pull on here, but one thing that I could do, since I'm not really going to be damaging the metal, I could be kicking off the, the bottom or the top of the bottom of that school bus and just kind of inchworming my way around. This is one of those penetrations that you don't want to rush through. You want to take your time. A lot of people say, why do you wear a cave helmet or a helmet in an open water environment? And I don't always wear a helmet. You guys see me wear the helmet when I do my salvage work, but I also wear a helmet a lot of times when I side mount dive just because I am making penetrations and I do want to protect my head. So since I'm so low to the ground and I have to keep my head tilted up so I can see where I'm going, the helmet really come into play here. Now we're going to watch this one more time and just see if we can kind of dial in some techniques here. You'll notice I've already, before I start, I've already winged that bottle out. And as I descend down, I'm going to negotiate where I want to enter at. Now, I'm actually uh, entering and exiting right in front of the, the rear um, wheel well of the bus itself. And that's just where I've got the most room. Like I said, this bus has kind of settled down in the mud a little bit. And I want to make sure that I can get through in a safe area and have plenty of room so that I'm not bouncing up and down off the bottom. So as I come through, I'm going very, very slow. And I'm actually doing a modified crawl here as the kick pattern. And then at the very end is when my knees drop down in the mud and that's when I stir everything up. 
But it is a fun penetration. It is a tight penetration. There you can kind of see just how much that bus is settled in the mud. But it is a tight penetration. And once again, I would encourage you to do this without proper supervision or proper training. Please make sure you've got a buddy there whenever you're doing this because there is inherent risk there. There's sharp metal objects that you can cut yourself on. There's rusted metal all over that bus. And of course, you could get stuck if you're up in there. If you're like me, you got a big belly, sometimes you can get up in there and get into a tight spot where you may not be able to make it out of. But guys, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it. If you got any questions about Lake Phoenix, advanced side mount diving, wreck diving, or advanced wreck diving, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to help you out and answer the question the best I can. But guys, I really appreciate you watching today's video. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.